how to use the FAA computer testing supplement for the part 107 exam. So the FAA publishes its computer testing supplements right on its website. So what these are is a supplement that you're going to get when you take your part 107 exam and it's going to give you all the figures and diagrams and charts and everything that your questions on the exam are going to refer to. So you'll get a question that'll say, you know, you know, choose this, choose that, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 C figure 3.8, okay? And when it says C figure 3.8, it means you need to go and refer to this computer testing supplement. Where you go and take the test, they will provide that supplement for you. It's generally going to be a printed, uh, uh, like workbook style that's going to be all kind of bent up and tattered. Um, it is not allowable to write in there, so there shouldn't be any writing or scratch marks or anything like that in there, but it may be just a little, you know, wear and tear just from, from use. So what I wanted to do though is show you how you can take a look at that computer testing supplement before you go take your exam so you know exactly what you're going to see. So if you just Google FAA computer testing supplements, brings you right to this spot on the FAA's website that has all the publications for all its airman knowledge, airman knowledge tests. So it's got everything from private pilot to airline transport pilot um, and everything in between. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here to under uh, pilots and instructors, and then I'm going to look at just what one it is that I am looking for. So this first one here says airman, airman knowledge testing supplement for commercial pilot. Nope, that's not what we're doing here. Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement for Sport Pilot, Recreational Pilot, Remote Pilot, and Private Pilot. So that is the one we are looking for because we are practicing and studying for our Remote Pilot Part 107 exam. So this is published as of June 2018. It's effective June 11th, 2018. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that to download. And it's a little bit of a file. It's uh, You can purchase a printed copy of the book on Amazon. It's free on the FAA's website, but if you want a printed copy of it, you can purchase one on Amazon. Don't make the mistake I did. I wasn't paying attention and I bought a copy that was actually printed in black and white and all the color coding and everything doesn't come through. And that's part of reading a chart. Um, you know, when you're looking at VFR sectionals, you need to know, you know, is this magenta? Is this blue? Is this gray? Uh, you need to be able to discern um, the different colors on the chart. So don't get a black and white one. I made that mistake. Ended up returning it. So this is the um, chart supplement. Or I'm sorry, the uh, testing supplement that you will get. Um, you don't bring this with you to the exam. The testing center will give this to you. Um, it's going to be printed up for you. And so I'm going to just scroll down here. It's got the title page, um, preface, all this stuff. And then it's got the table of contents. So you can see here we've got different appendices that it's going to, your exam is going to refer to some of these. Now you have to remember this testing supplement or computer supplement is used for four different exams. So you've got the private pilot, you've got the remote pilot, you've got recreational pilot, and you've got sport pilot. So there's a lot more in here than what's actually going to be on your exam. So don't freak out about that. What I want you to look at though are the different charts that are going to be on the exam. So you can go through here and you can find the charts and just get um, just get comfortable with taking a look at them. Look at right here. You're looking at a chart on the on the exam and you can't remember what a symbol means. Then you just come to this page right here, legend one. Legend one is the legend of your uh, VFR sectional chart. It's got all your symbols on there. Everything you need to know is right here. So one thing that the FAA really wants to make sure is that you know where to go to find information so that you can be safe and legal and you can operate your, your, your drone as a responsible pilot. And so they give you all the information. It's all right here. Same with the chart supplement. This is very, you know, a, a great layout of the chart supplement. If you can't remember, come back here, look at the legend. It tells you exactly what everything is. Again, the FAA just wants to know that you know how you can be resourceful and you can find this information. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down here until we find a chart. So Appendix 2 has got a few different charts that uh, you, may, you may have test questions on on your Part 107 exam. And so uh, you can just come down here, take a look at them. You can look at the uh, the airports. We've got Sandpoint Airport, 
We've got a VFR, or I'm sorry, uh, a class E transition area on our VFR sectional. Um, looks like we've got another airport over here where we've got some another class E uh, transition area. And then we're dropping down to the surface over here, post falls. You want to look around at all these different um, you know, things that you see on the charts here and see if there's something that you just, you're like, oh gosh, I don't know what that is. Go look it up. Just become familiar with this before you go take the test. This is what's going to be on your test. Look right here. We've got the, the lines of latitude and longitude. You're going to need to be able to read that on the sectional chart. You're also going to need to be able to look at the different elevations on your chart right here. It's giving you some color coding so that based on the color of the surface on your chart, you can tell what is the elevation of the ground um, above sea level. We can scroll down here to the next chart. You can see um, a lot more information on this chart, stuff that we have talked about in the past. We've got some different airports here. You've got a lot of different information. You've got the lat lines of latitude and longitude. We've got some class C airspace here, some class Charlie airspace. Looks like we might have some sort of like restricted, restricted areas here, a MOA maybe over here. Um, so I can see all that different stuff. Look right here, we've got some obstacles in that airspace. You want to know what altitude those obstacles are at. What are they above ground level? What are they at mean sea level? Look, we've got more obstacles over here. You want to be able to identify those, okay? I'm going to scroll down to the next one. This one's sideways, and I can't turn the screen while I'm recording the video here, but um, same thing. You're going to want to be just get familiar with all of the different things that are on here. Understand what that number means right there. Understand what this circle R means right there. If there's something that comes up that you don't know, go look at the legend. And in this case, on the computer testing supplement, the legend is at the very beginning of the book, okay? Whereas if you're looking at a, a printed chart supplement, it would be in the margins of the, of the chart, right? Let's go down to the next one here. Look, we've got some busy class Bravo airspace here. And so you want to take a look at all of the different, um, the different airspace. So see how there's these red numbers right here? One, two, six, five, four, seven, et cetera. Those aren't normally printed on a VFR chart. What those are is you might be asked a question that will say to you, it'll say, refer to figure 25.1. Um, and it, so that knows, you know then to direct your eyes to that spot on the on this page. So it's probably going to ask you a question about something in this general area. And if it refers you to spot eight, you're gonna direct your eyes over here and it's gonna ask you something, a question about something in this particular area here. So again, it look at for all the different obstacles, the airports, all the different transitions of the airspace, just become very comfortable with what it is that you're seeing, what it is that you're that you're reading here. Now we've got a little bit more rural area as opposed to the class B on the previous page. We've got some restricted airspace here. You're gonna to wanna to understand that. You're gonna to wanna to understand these transition areas. Again, we got the red dots. That's just to help you um, while you're taking the test, it will direct you to that area. Those aren't normally printed on the exam or on the charts. So you want to make sure, again, all these different things that are that are coming up, um, get familiar with those so that when you are taking the test on the first day, uh, that, uh, when you're taking the test on test day, that is not the first day that you have actually seen these charts. You'll be familiar with them, you'll see them, and it would be sort of a, a sense of relief because you're like, oh, I've seen this before, I'm comfortable with this, I know what this is. So go ahead, download the computer testing supplement. If you want to purchase it, go ahead. Um, like I said, just make sure you're purchasing a color copy versus a black and white copy. Read through it. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in our Facebook group.